Hi there, you two. Welcome back. Alma, are you feeling better now? Basically, whoever hits first hits hardest. And that is where you two come in. Yes, we'll do our best together. Great. I'm counting on you both. The advanced team has been wiped out. They appear to be predicting our moves quite accurately. I wonder how things are on the other end. to fight myself. You sure that's all you've got? What a pain. <sighs> it's no use. My cover's blown. I'm copying them with laser precision. Why isn't it working? If they can calculate on the same level as the Akashic Records, that would explain why they can see through disguises. This is a wondrous advancement in my eyes. One worthy of a being that we Photoners gave rise to. Ark's mobile weapons incoming. They likely tracked our location from our teleport coordinates. <laughs> Is this their idea of comeuppance?
grow quickly they let small successes go to their heads. So predictable, and so emblematic of the failures they brought. The strike team has been wiped out! They still couldn't get through even with their output? Recall all units! Yes, sir! All units return to ship! I repeat, all units return to ship! Oh, we're back to playing tag again? How oh, trifling. I grow so weary of being it. <sighs> Those fools. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> I suppose you're here to lecture me about that business with Stratos and Lucott. You saw that ridiculous farce? Stratos has always had a soft spot for others, and Lucott is more than willing to be indulged. She doesn't have to come clean if she doesn't want to. Friends should just trust first and ask questions later. What a joke. It's obvious as to why Lukat keeps quiet. She's afraid that if she speaks up, she and the rest of us will be hurt. And Stratos is afraid that Lukat will be hurt if she probes any further. A pair of irredeemable idiots, those two. Do they actually think they can just keep up such an act forever? Laughable. Still... What am I supposed to do? Is there even anything I can do? I'm not sure. I just don't know. What would a phantom do? <laughs> well, that's easy. You're right. As a phantom, there actually is something I can do. Yes, I'm a phantom, and phantoms don't let anything get between them and their goals. <laughs> Since they're so scared of hurting each other, I guess that role will have to fall to me. Just wait until you see my black wolf technique. I bet neither you nor those two dolts are going to forget it anytime soon. You have my thanks. <laughs> I'll see you around. Stratos, you're really fidgety, and that always means something is going on. Is there anything ahead of us? Nobody's waiting for us up ahead or anything. Let's just focus on the mission. Eyes on the prize! Yoki! <gasps> what are you doing? Someone could have gotten hurt! Shut up! I'm grateful you drew her out, but I have no further use for you. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I thought you were gonna make up with Lukat! You said you were gonna apologize about the cookies, and tell her how happy you were that she's back. Was that all just a lie? <laughs> Perhaps you've forgotten. A phantom stops at nothing to achieve their goals. You would do well to remember that. Lucot, you're going to come clean right now. No more hiding. Stop it already. Lucot is back, and as far as I'm concerned, that's all that matters. I thought I told you to shut up! All right, Lucat. Time to spill the beans. Tell me, why did you betray us? I can't tell you. 
So it's come to this. You leave me no choice, then. It's high time I started doing things my way. Time to pry open the door of truth once and for all! Doing things? You're saying we need to see this to the better end? But. But what about Lukot? I. I'm sorry. Please. Accept my apologies. If I made you angry. Don't apologize. I'm going to do everything in my power to bring the truth out of you once and for all! Please stop this, Kyoki! You're just going to hurt everyone! Rather, you must be afraid of getting hurt. Or hurting others. Even if the truth hurts us, that pain will feel in time. And the bond between us will emerge stronger than ever. And you won't tell us. It has to be because you're trying to protect the three of us from some horrible truth. But you're wrong. You can't reach an understanding without talking things out. We need to have more faith in ourselves than that. Kiyoki, you're right. Luko, you, you have to trust us. Aren't we all friends? It's cruel to keep the truth to yourself. But I just can't. You have to believe me. Why not? At least tell me why, damn it! Why the hell did you lock us in that building and set it on fire? Loco! No! What's going on? You don't even remember what of you did? Of course I don't! What are you talking about, Kyokuya? Just what happened on that day? Imbecile! You... You really don't know? You... You've got it all wrong! I only invited you two over there to have fun! Luko, you need to tell us the whole story! That day when you invited us to meet you there, what in the world happened? Just wait a minute. Please! You have to trust us! We... we won't hate you, no matter what you say. That's what real trust means. M master wh wh What should I do? Trust them? Okay, I'll tell you everything. Lukat, no matter what it is, we're here to listen. <sighs> About. What exactly happened on that day five years ago? I was in the middle of a mission when I saw an old building in the outskirts of the city area. 
It was abandoned, but it had this beautiful air about it. I thought it might be nice to invite the two of you there as a show of hospitality and to have some fun. So, I made invitations. I only wrote, come to the old building on the outskirts of the city, because I wanted the reason to be a surprise. Then, on the day of our outing, I went into the old building through the back door to surprise you guys. It was then that I noticed that, for some reason, the building was riddled with traps. I had no time to react and fainted from the shock of it all. Then, somebody took me away. So, you see, I don't know what happened after all that. When I came to, I was on Wopal, which was still not officially known at the time. I had been taken to an experimental facility inside the void apparatus on the seabed. I was there for what seemed like forever. They made me fight these strange creatures as part of an experimental F-Factor proliferation program. Wait, Void? That place was supposed to have been torn down three years ago. What happened to you after that? The facility was completely automated to collect battle data. Even after Void was no more, I continued to fight right up until I was rescued. Sometime later, Maria of the Council of Six discovered the experimental facility while conducting a search of Wu Paul and rescued me. However, the things that I had been forced to fight endlessly were creatures created to test F-factor proliferation. When she found me, my body was already teeming with F-factor. I thought that was it for me. Lukat, are you serious? Maria told me that I was this close to turning into a full-fledged false bomb. If she'd gotten there just a little bit later... Damn it! Why? Why did something like that have to happen to you? When I was working as a maid, I heard through the grapevine that there were unethical experiments going on at the Void Apparatus. So I decided to investigate myself. They must have noticed me snooping around and sensed that I could become a problem. Locking you two in that building and setting fire to it must have been Void's attempt to get rid of any loose ends. I can't believe I got myself, no, all of us, into so much trouble. I'm really sorry. You're sorry? Void should be apologizing, not you! You did nothing wrong! I still don't understand why you never tried to get in touch after Maria rescued you. Why did you wait until now? The extent of the false bond corruption I had sustained was too much. Maria was worried that if Arcs knew, they would dispose of me. My fate wasn't totally sealed yet. So we decided to try everything we could to reverse it. I'm sure you know what we did next. Right, Master? That's right. Just like you once were, I was put into cryosleep. She said that we would use cryosleep, which was still in development at the time, as a way of clearing out the F-factor. So basically, after she rescued you, you pretended to be dead and waited, cloaked in darkness, until you were fully recovered. Exactly. Fortunately, the cryosleep process was a success. And after three years, the purification process had finished. When I awoke, I was so excited to be able to see you guys again that I kept going with my rehabilitation treatment. But, all of a sudden, I got... scared. Scared? Of what? I was afraid you would shun me. 
for being exposed to the false bond corruption. But that was really just me being a coward. Stratos, you were always so kind and would say, you'll always be Lucat to me, no matter what. Anyway, that's about the size of it. Will you guys still forgive me? After everything I've told you? Of course! It's not like you did anything bad, Luko. As far as I'm concerned, you're golden. Kyoki? Hmm. It would appear you succeeded in conquering a great fear that slept within the depths of your heart. Not only that, but you put your trust in us. Told us the story straight, in your own words. If what you say is true, I can't scold you. Luko, it's so great to have you back. It's great to be back. Thank you, Stratos. Thank you, Kyokuya. Hold up. Now it's Kyoki's turn to apologize. You did say some pretty nasty stuff to Luko back there. <laughs> I was only trying to extend a bit of hospitality and give you guys a chance to finally make up. So that was your show of hospitality? Extraordinary. What? Thinking of the best way to make someone happy by understanding their true feelings. Brainstorming is the best way to soothe someone's sorrows by understanding their true feelings. One who can understand and put into practice the spirit of hospitality that embodies these ideals is the true meaning of the word made. Kyokuya, from now on, I officially recognize you as an honorary maid. You really are an idiot. Wait a sec, Luko. Since Kyoki's a guy, we should give him the honorary title of Mr. Maid. I take that back. You're both huge idiots. Come on, Kyoki. It takes one to know one. In any case, next time the three of us should get decked out in maid uniforms and show off our hospitality skills. Oh no! I'll pass! Thanks! <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us, Master. Because of you, it looks like we'll get another chance at being a real trio again. Emotional activities really draw people to a new class. And she agreed to work with me. So we're promoting the new Etoile class together. Come on, Stratos. You have to talk if we want to pique anyone's interest. Wondering why I'm dressed up like this? Luko insisted that we dress in matching outfits to promote the Etoile class. So I gave in, and here I am. It is so frilly and poofy. I just... I know. This outfit just isn't my kind of thing. It's so embarrassing. Don't be absurd. You look adorable in that, doesn't she, Master? Huh? 
huh? By cute, you mean the outfit is cute, of course, <laughs> right? Ugh. I can't do this anymore! I'm gonna go change! Aw, I was so happy we were matching, though. This is a little disappointing. Such a shame. I'll just have to find someone who can wear this outfit and help me promote. Um, Master? You'll work with me, won't you? I have the perfect outfit for you. Even the advanced AIS models crumpled like tinfoil before her. This is getting ridiculous. The photonic mass stored in her body is, quite frankly, ludicrous. Photon attacks don't even touch her. And her body's been enhanced to the point where physical strikes may as well be friendly handshakes. She's a formidable foe, all right. Hypothetical calculations complete. Our assumptions were way off. I just derived Shiva's theoretical max output from the last engagement's measurements. Here it is. Holy moly! Look at those numbers! Are you sure you didn't misplace a decimal somewhere? This would mean she's as powerful as all of ARCs combined! That's nuts! Nuts? Maybe. But true. Her powers make more sense when you consider that she alone houses the collective photonic abilities of all photoners. When she showed up on the ARC ship before, from the way she was acting, there's zero question that she was just amusing herself. But not even we could lift a finger against her back then. She either absorbs or deflects anything but the most intensely focused photon attacks. You'd need an equivalent amount of photons to do so much as stand your ground in a fight against her. Yes. I think you're looking at this from the right angle. A way to suppress photons? Oh, that's right! I remember! Yes, Matoy. The sealing circle that Sukunahime used to bind your power when you were altered by the profound darkness. That was originally a field designed to seal Magatsu's power. If we could repurpose it for sealing Shiva's power, that is, her photons, then we might just stand a chance. Yes! We can do this! I just know Sukunahime will be glad to help us! Come on! Let's go pay Sukunahime a visit on Haruka-tan!